guys, it's uh, Ben here from Ben's Collectibles. Just a really quick update. I've been reading a lot of uh, comments uh, posted on my original review of the Junkie on Blacksmith uh, kit for Devastator. And I'm a bit of a knob. Um, I sat there slagging off the inability to uh, hold the gun and the... Yeah. Um, first of all... Thanks for uh, pointing this out, guys. Look at this. The gun can be holstered. I just think that is bloody awesome. I did not know that. And uh, thank you very much. I've had several uh, messages sent to me um, informing me of that. Um, Originally, I thought the purple clip was something to do with joining to the original G1 or an Encore, and I was completely wrong. Um, if I just remove Prime, sorry, I'll just uh, literally pick them off off the shelf. Um, if we... Oh, Ben, don't knock your camera over, don't knock the camera over. Um, just excuse me, this is... Uh, I'm actually filming this on my iPhone, because... Because I can. <laughs> As you can see... Uh, I don't think the order I focus is on on here, is it? So let's. Uh... As you can see, I've taken the purple clip, and the junkie on set comes with holes. And I thought to myself, what on earth are these holes? And it never crossed my mind that they'd actually use them. <laughs> yeah, if you take the purple peg. Um. Literally, it's placed on the gun in the hole. Now, where I was going completely wrong is the purple peg has a small hole in the bottom. You place it on there like so. And if you look at the hands... There we go, there are, there's a hole inside the hand. Now, if you bear with me, I am... See, I'm still having trouble with this guy holding together. And he poses brilliantly now. Um, I've, it's just a matter of balance. And But, look, there we go. How much easier was that? Um... These keep falling back. I don't know if this is a problem with the original Devastator, or whether it's just a problem with mine, but they will not stay locked in. As you can see, uh, no wobbles. That is not going anywhere. And, you got to sound like a small child, uh, excited at Christmas tonight. I'm, I'm just, this set is awesome. Um, I, I sat there moaning and moaning and moaning about these guns and the hands. Um, I've had no problems with the hands since I've done the video. And, I mean, there's just... It just doesn't move. Um, it You know, it it's not loose. It will stay up. And you can get this guy in some pretty awesome poses. It's just a matter of balance, and I mean, look at that. You can't do that with the other set. It's um, it, it, I've seen the reviews. I've seen the fingers come off. I've seen them wobble. Now I know that they're re-releasing a um, version of the set that has the uh, silver legs, and they have fixed the fingers, but it's still going to be expensive. And this set just knocks the socks off it. Um, I just think it's so much better. Um, I mean, I sat there watching the uh, series... Was I watching Series 2? Series 2 of G1 yesterday, and Devastator was in there, and he had the green legs. I mean, the only thing this set is mi missing to make him more G1 accurate is the neck clasp, and this is green. And in the cartoon, it was purple. Now, I was going to buy the X-Transbot 
Um, yeah, yes, I can remember the name. I was going to buy the X-Transbots um, clasp um, because it's purple and it gave, gave a waist swivel. But watching the reviews, it doesn't have the connectivity that this one does. This one just nips in and it will not move. It's fixed in that position. Um, if they release an upgrade to this, um, if you're listening, uh, TSC, make a purple one. That's all this lacks. Um, we don't need the finger articulation because we've got all the articulation on the elbow. It rotates. It goes up and down on the point. So basically, it's a double hinged elbow, isn't it? It moves up and down on here, and it also moves up and down on the forearm. Um, yeah, um, like I said, sorry I had my rant for the last video. If I'd looked on the back of the box and looked down to the right hand corner, it showed me what the little purple clip did. Um, but using it as a holster, very nice, very nice. And also, I believe if you move the pin and onto the separate points on the gun, the smaller figures, um, once Devastator is separated, can also hold the gun. Um, once again, Junkion, that's a very nice touch. Um, I know this is only a quick video. Uh, I just wanted to clear a few things up. Um, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, go out and buy this. Um, I'm not going to promote uh, any certain toy companies, but I got mine from Kapow Toys, and it's pretty cheap. Um, once again, thanks for listening. If you like what you see, then please comment. I try to respond to everybody's comments. Uh, like and subscribe. And also, there are some adverts that pop up along the bottom. If you want to click on any of those at all, feel free because it gives me money. Thanks again, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.